your personality is your public image. What people know you about. They know you as the one standing there in time. They know you as the one that can spend money. They know you as the one that can dress very well. They know you as the one that can encourage people. That is your personality. And your character is who you are. Amen? Your character is who you are. Your character is different from your personality. Your personality is that one you want everybody to see, but you want in the party. The one that is posh. The one that speaks like the British people. The one that when you are eating, you eat carefully. But when you are in your house, you break the bowl. <laughs> but when you go out, that is your personality. So you have a person. So as Christians, on Sunday, we have personalities. We present a nature. We present some attitude as very holy. They go to our offices on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday. That's when we know who we are. Hello everyone. Hello. God bless you. Thank you so very much for tuning in. This is the Pastor's Wife Talk Show on Faith World TV. Uh, this is a beautiful day the Lord has made, a beautiful month of June. And we are so privileged that God has accorded us another time in the land of the living to see a new month, to flourish in a new month. So I, I really want to thank God for your life, you know, upon all you've been through, upon all you have gone through. God has brought you through to this side of uh, the year. Uh, I pray that that grace will remain and we continue to speak for you in Jesus' name. Amen. As you can see, I have my friend, uh, a fellow uh, pastor's wife, mm -hmm. but she is a bishop's wife actually. <laughs> In, amen, in the house. So we are going to be discussing issue of uh, issues that concern pastors' wives, uh, various pastors' wives, ourselves, other pastors' wives, pastors' wives in the making. Yes. Yeah, there are a lot of issues uh, um, that we need to talk about. So please stay with us. But I, I want to warn you, we cannot exhaust every matter <laughs> no, about the no, pastor's wife <laughs> because our duties are varied. Yes. Uh, so if we don't finish today, we'll carry it over next week. Yes. So without um, uh, any ado, I want to welcome uh, the woman of God. I respect her so mm -hmm. much. She's a singer, a gospel artist as well, a mother in uh, you know mother Amen. in the spirit and, and a mother. <laughs> as well <laughs> a mother in israel Amen. and there's no other person than mm. a pastor joyce faday thank you so much My thank pleasure. you it's always a pleasure being with you on this show we enjoy it so much absolutely i think we've had it last year of yes. 2019 right. it, together did. yes we did. and it was it awesome was we awesome. talked about marriage yes it yes. blessed people's we did. lives we did. Yes. yes praise yes. god yes. so we are looking at the struggles of the pastor's wife and we are not, this is not subjective. We are not looking at any particular person. We are talking of pastor's wives generally. They, we are looking at the struggles and the benefit of being a pastor's wife. Uh, I want to let you know that being a pastor's wife is a privilege. Because we are like chosen vessels yes, yes, right. to look after a chosen vessel. That's right. Yes, that's right. That's <laughs> Isn't right. it one yes, of God? It's, it's a calling. Yes, yeah, it's a yes, calling. Yes. So women, so women, or uh, even men support women yes, who are true. senior pastors. Very yeah. True. So and in that capacity, it's not a um, a biblical post, mm. Mm. but it comes with a, yes, a marriage. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So uh, we are going to be looking at that. In in that, there are struggles, like, just like every other believer. But there are so much benefits yes. being a pastor's wife. So if you're a young girl and you are scared because we have been hearing it, <laughs> Tell that, me oh, I don't want to marry a pastor's <laughs> wife. I want you to know that it's you are graced. Yes, you are special yes. for God to choose you. Yes, to I yes. uh, you know do carry out that assignment. So I'm going to leave you and yes, ask you, yes. woman of God. <clears throat> Just like every other believer that go through struggles, yes, yes. I know there are many. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what you have to say about this matter. <laughs> well, I, I thank you for the opportunity. I mm. must say it's a pleasure, mm -hmm. and it, it's a, it, when I said it was a calling, it's yeah. a calling to be a pastor's yeah. wife because yeah. it's it's a post that you have to really know God has called you to do it. Because some people got married mm -hmm. before their husband became a pastor yes and then issues come up that i didn't marry a pastor i married a doctor i married oh a lawyer I married a... so we have to know what god has called us to do and interestingly enough yeah. i didn't even remember when i got married that i had actually come out for an altar call mm. for people that would like to marry pastors oh my god i've never heard that altar call again you know, I was no. in my early, I was in my late teens, 18. Yeah. yeah. And um, Pa Elton, I don't know if you knew Pa Elton in no. Nigeria. He no. had an altar call that if anyone wants to marry a pastor, it's a big ministry, it's a big calling, come out. And I found myself at the front. Wow, I'm seeing me. <laughs> Goosebumps. Yeah, 
this pops all about me. So oh. it was years later that I remember that mm. hmm, I have no excuse. I have no option to complain because mm. I knew this is what God wants me to to, to be, you know, and oh. to be a pillar of strength yes. to Him. And we need to remember as pastor wives, we also have our own identity. Yes. Because if you're not careful, you could live in the shadow of your husband. Absolutely. Or people could make mm. you what they want you to mm -hmm. be. So you need to know who you are as a person who you are in Christ. Yeah. That way you will have peace of mind because people have different notions of a pastor's wife thank depending you. on pa where you're from. Pastor, thank you for raising that issue. The <laughs> issue of acceptance. Yes, acceptance. You know, yeah. uh, some pastor's wives are kind of complaining, oh, they are not accepting me, they mm. don't recognize me. Don't it all bounces yeah. back to what you are saying. Yes. Please go ahead yes. about who yes. you are, knowing yeah. who you are first. Yeah, you need to know who you are because mm. again, where you live, culture tends to creep in as well yeah you know if you're in a african continent it's it, there's a different setting there's a way people see you yeah. they have an image of a pastor's wife yeah. if you come to england it's different yeah. i remember when we started the ministry yeah. and everybody was calling me mommy 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 <laughs> oh my god i feel so old oh, yes. but that's the way they they call pastor's yeah, wives yeah. in africa yes so I had to let them understand, look, mm. I appreciate that, yeah. but let's just leave it as pastor <laughs> choice, you know? And, yes. you know, they need to know you. They can't, mm. or, or else you begin to be shaped yes. to what you're not. Yes. And then it's possible pride could set in mm. if people put you on a pedestal, yes. which has happened. Absolutely. People put people on pedestals yeah. and then they now become bigger than they should be. Yeah. You know, we yeah. should let Jesus be at the center Thank you. of our hearts. Thank know you. who we are in Christ. Yes. Know who we are, what, what we're carrying, yeah. the ministry we've got, the giftings we've got will yeah. make room yeah. for, for us. You. Yeah. yeah, you know what you said is so true. Uh, yeah. There are times some pastor's wives, um, uh, they inadvertently yes. become uh, conscious of their looks more. True. Because yes. they want to impress, yeah. <coughs> yes. they want yes. to make a point, and yes. they want to live up to the yes. name yes. they are being called. Yes. And yes. Uh, yeah, that is a very tricky place. We are already complete in Christ. We're complete in Him, so we don't need to compete. No. No all. competition, at not all. trying to make oh. impression, not trying yes. to yes. create an yes. image for you. Yes. Our identity yes. is in Jesus. That's right, that's right. Children that's of right. God, we yeah. are called yes. by the name of the Lord. That's our identity. Yes. It is one of the struggles yes. a pastor's wife yes. go through. True. And True. it takes you knowing who you are deeply yeah. Yeah. to maintain your originality. That's right, that's right. If yeah. not, you yeah. could be swept. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, people will call innocently, people yeah. will want you to dress for yes. them. In fact, yeah. they will tell yes, you yes, yes, to yes. dress, yes, you yes, know, yes, you have yes, pastor's yes, wife. Yes. <laughs> I've know? had it, I've had it. And, you know, you know my husband yeah. very well. Yeah. He, he dresses very, very well. Very well. Yes. I come from a place where oh, casual is fine for me. I know. So, obviously, with the post, you have to kind of, like, change a Ex little bit. Exactly. But still be yourself. So, Ex the most important thing is for mm -hmm. the husband and wife to be together. Mm -hmm. Don't let anyone come between you. Yes. So, if I'm not strong at buying things that I think would be appropriate, mm -hmm. my husband will do it. Yes. You know, yes. but don't allow anyone to come in and say, ah, oh, why is your wife dressing like that? Yes. She's fine. Mm -hmm. I'm not complaining. Yes. Rather than, ah, oh, it's true. Me too. Mm -hmm. I should tell her. Mm -hmm. You know, so we need to be together. Mm -hmm. We need, And when people accept you for who you are, I mean, mm -hmm. they know me, my church know me very well. <laughs> uh, this is me. This is Pastor <laughs> Joyce. This is how I am. Yeah. You know, and then little by little, because I'm a very plain person, yeah. I've been able to bring in more colors. As mm. you can see, I wouldn't normally yeah, wear bright yeah, right. colors like really? this. So it, it's good, you know, yeah. so that we're not focusing on yeah, the things cool. that aren't as important as the spiritual. Absolutely. The Bible said in the book of Colossians chapter 3, verse 1, yeah. it says, set your mind yeah. on things above. above. You know, yeah. if you don't yeah. take care, you wouldn't know when you are carried away. Yes. You yes. wouldn't know what... It's a distraction. Yeah, yeah. it's a distraction. Yeah. So please, yeah. know who you are. Yes. There's no need of... Um, trying to be accepted for God to choose you yes. to be a pastor's wife. You have been already. accepted from yes. the beginning Amen. and you are complete in Christ Amen. Jesus. So you don't need to prove anything. Um, we have to be like our master. Let's just right. be who God has called us. All that matters is the impact we are making That's in right. the lives of people. That's right. And the, 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 the pastor and we are, you know, yes. the support we are yes. giving to the set man true. of the house or the set woman of the house. Isn't it? Yeah, Another true. issue I noticed yes. that some pastor's wives <laughs> yeah. go through or struggle with apart from issue of acceptance mm -hmm. is at times some pastors will face false accusation. Mm. 
force like true yeah i think the tendency is obviously the pastor everybody mm. looks up to the pastor yeah. for everything yeah and they think that the wife is is a ob obstacle in the way mm. uh, isn't as anointed quote yeah. unquote yeah. as the pastor yeah. so anytime women especially women not men mm. women want to see the pastor they think ah, this woman will be an obstacle to me i won't mm. be able to feel free to mm. discuss with him yeah, yeah. but that's why it's important you know your pastor you know your pastor's exactly. work and husband and wife need to be together we need to put things protocols mm -hmm. in place yes you know and yeah. be friendly mm. you know some pastor's wives are not friendly yes and again it depends on the nature of the pastor like my husband is so friendly so mm. loving he yeah. wouldn't even hurt a fly <laughs> yes i could be a little bit more firm but yeah. now because of his temperament yeah. i have to be careful yes how i behave yeah, say, exactly. ah, the wife is in <laughs> which <laughs> thank you <laughs> Thank so you, you have to calm down a yes, little bit with yes. wisdom. That's exactly me. I am, to be honest, I naturally am a non-nonsense person. Yeah. I don't take anything anyhow. But my husband, as you said, is a dove. Yes. She's yeah. a, he's a proper pastor. <laughs> he can listen to, the to anybody. Yes, you can do anything and he will not complain. Mm -hmm. And you know, everybody is different. I am wired as an evangelist. Yes, That's yes, my yes, call. Yes, I yes, pray. Yes, I love yes, prayers. Yes. I like evangelizing. Yes, and you know, evangelists oh are natural and not yes. pastor no, not, no, no, they don't have wrong. the same career yeah. yeah you say it the way it is yes so but as time went ahead i think i had to take clue from him <laughs> I had to take you and I had to ask the Holy Spirit to yes, help me to right. accommodate yes, everybody because actually you to pastor a church you mm. are not pastoring only one group of people yeah, yeah. you are not pastoring only those who approve of you mm -hmm. you are not pastoring only those who love you and, yeah. and, they, and they are close to you you are pastoring everybody, everybody whether they love you or not. or not so that means that to yeah. be a pastor's wife and yeah. to survive yeah. enjoy it yeah. and get the benefits yeah. love must be your language love grace love Grace. Yes. It's absolutely mm -hmm. so important. That's you know, the two of you together need to know yeah. what you're doing together because yeah. that's the reason why people mm -hmm. think we're stumbling block because yeah. the pastor could have a very large heart. Well, you yeah. need to have a large heart yes. as a pastor. Yeah. And as a pastor's wife, you yeah. need a large heart. Yeah. But everything can't be soft, 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 or yes. things won't be done. So with balance yeah. and with wisdom, yeah. things can be done properly, properly and in order. It takes time, you know, it's not easy. When you start the ministry at the beginning, it yeah. really wasn't easy. Exactly. It wasn't easy. But with time, mm. people getting to know you, getting to love them. Yeah. What is my purpose as a pastor's wife yeah. and as a pastor? Because yeah. we're not ju just pastors, no. but we're also pastors. Yes, yeah. some of life. us were already called yes. into ministry right. before we got married. True. Or That's before right. our husbands True. became pastors. Yeah. True. So, yeah. That's it. So yeah. That also that also gives you that level of leadership mm, on you you know yes. for, for years we've been in leadership yeah. even in university mm -hmm. during my a-levels i was in leadership met yeah. my husband who was in leadership. leadership so i've always known that we're going to be in the area of ministry mm -hmm. you know and that's helped mm. because you've been dealing with people mm. all along the way yeah so it just kind of like helped by the time you got into full-time ministry mm. then you're able to deal with people with with a higher level of understanding mm -hmm and wisdom and grace. Yes. And then when you meet them one-on-one, -on -one, as mm. a pastor's wife, obviously you need to be close with women. Yeah. You know, have a women's ministry. Yeah, yeah. So let them understand you well. Because men, men are easier to... Men know. are easier. They're not no, no, no. It's, it's only, just only, women that are Yeah, we are a pastor's <laughs> wife will encounter problem with men is any ambitious man who wants a position and feel that mm, the pastor's wife, that's true. you know, pastor's yeah. wife pick up that's certain true. things that's true. in the spirit. That's true. That's so true. the pastor will see, oh, this person loves me yes. because they are yes. Yes. with yes. their charisma. Yes. Yes. And yes. the pastor can get carried away. Yeah. But the wife yes. can and detect yes. Yes. the ulterior motive. Yeah, yeah, the right. ulterior motive. Mm. So, and the person <laughs> who is planning all this is already knows that the wife will pick it up. <laughs> so what they will do is to try to yeah. push the yes, woman yes, out. Yes, yes, so, behind, yeah. Exactly. So please, in that realm, I want you to speak to young mm. pastor's wives. Mm, mm. Um, yeah. I know who they were not called as yeah. pastors, but yes. they married pastors. Yes, yes. And some of them feel yeah. this on their faces, yes, like, yes. it looks as if that brother doesn't yeah. like my face. Yeah. Like, that woman yeah. doesn't like me. Let's speak yeah, a word yeah, of yeah. comfort to their hearts. Yeah, I think, I think, as I said earlier, it's a calling. If your mm. husband, obviously you married him as something else, and then along the line now, he's become a pastor. You mm. found yourself in this exciting position of being a pastor's wife. Yeah. I can encourage you that, you know, it gets better. It get, It's a glorious, it's an honor, it's a yeah. privilege to be a pastor's mm -hmm. wife the two of you need to be very close connected mm -hmm. prayerful understand what your calling is and then know who you are as an individual as well mm -hmm. why has God given you this great assignment 
as a, as a person. It means you're also a counselor. It means you're a teacher. It means you're also a woman of the word. You're mm -hmm. a woman of prayer. For mm -hmm. God to give you such a high honor, it's a privilege to be able to serve the people of God yes. and to be you know, with the man of God. Yes. And, and it, will, it will get easier. If you have any challenges, feel free to you know, speak to someone. Mentoring is very important because yeah. we don't know it all. Yeah. Yeah. The word of God is there. If God called you, God will make provision for you to be able to be successful and happy in your post yes. as, as a pastor's wife. So I'd like to encourage you, I've been a pastor's wife for many years, over 30 something years, and it's been, it's been joyous. I can yes. say overall, it's been a privilege. Absolutely. Yes, Thank you so much for Thank that. You. Yes. You. yes. Well, I will also add that you need to be confident mm. that God who has sent you will not mm. disappoint you. He will That's not right. let you down. Yes. He will not let you to be broken beyond repair. Yes. Develop that confidence that nobody is against you. Those put under your husband and yourself are not against you. No one is against you. The devil will may make you uh, think that, oh, somebody is out against you. They don't want to hear my voice. It's only when you do it in your power. Mm -hmm. You are pushing your mm -hmm. way. You want mm -hmm. to be Trying recognized. To happen, yeah. Yes, once you want to make it in your power, uh, some spiritual forces also will come against you. Mm -hmm. So, But if you humble yourself at the hands of God, you know, go into your assignment, pray, you know, learn, learn, yes. meet up where your yes. husband is. Yes. Don't let your husband yes. be a spiritual giant and you are still a baby. Yes. Yes. When, when people yes. see the giftings of God in yeah. you, yeah. Uh, generally yeah. people right. will gravitate yeah. towards That's you. Right. People yeah. will honor you for who you are, That's not necessarily right. because you're a pastor's wife. Mm -hmm. People will, uh, will mm -hmm. respect you. Mm -hmm. So I also want to tell you, you as a pastor's wife, you may think, oh, somebody is my enemy. Nobody is your enemy. Mm -hmm. Satan is your arch enemy. Mm -hmm. And the funny thing is that he can use anybody. Mm -hmm. His mm -hmm. target is to floor you. Mm -hmm. It is to break you. Hmm. And it is to destroy your relationship with God and your husband. Hmm. So remove your eyes. Yes, yes that's yes, a target. Yes, yes, Satan yes. wants to break your spirit yes, yes, so yes. that you give up. So yeah. you become bitter in the church. You become mm. bitter against those mm. placed under you. Mm. But you have to deliberately resist that by prayer and at times fasting. Yes. So keep yourself in check. Yes. So yes. so that your confidence is not eroded. The Bible says we should not throw away yes. our confidence yes. in Jesus, yes. which has great recompense. Great recompense of yeah? reward. Yes. yes. So great that means when we have confidence, we are strong. That's right. That's we, right. We, we yeah. can bear everything. Yeah. So your members of the church are not your enemies. Yeah. Yeah. It is the devil that is your enemy. Yes. One thing he will do is that he can use anything, he can use anybody to try to bring you down, to mess you up, to break you, to yes. reach your inner being mm. and destroy your relationship with God mm. and with man. Because you know, when he succeeds, when a, yeah. a woman, a pastor's wife becomes yeah. <clears throat> bitter, Mm. When you become resentful, yeah. yes, yes. and before you know it, there yeah. will be a problem between you and your husband. That's it. it will well, yes, everything. and before you know it, there yeah. will be divorce. Yes, that's yes. not what God has called Amen. you. God Amen. has an assignment for you. Amen. You know to remain. You need to remain there to yeah. fulfill that assignment, woman of God. It's true. It true. It's true. And also, just to quickly say that yeah. the, the, the husband, it's important that he he understands their their closeness because the challenges we've had mm. is the pastor is just too busy with the church. Yes, and has not carried along his the wife. Woman. We need to carry everybody along speak it loud <laughs> <laughs> as a pastor you must yeah. carry your wife along let mm -hmm. her understand don't just assume she mm -hmm. understands what the ministry is all about yes. even before you go into ministry yeah. you would have discussed about everything you would have discussed about what she would like to do yeah. when my husband went into full-time ministry he said mm -hmm. you don't have to rush when it's mm -hmm. time when you think it's time for mm -hmm. you to come full-time yeah feel free to do that and that's, that's what good. happened good. it was a few years later that mm -hmm. i joined when the church was growing so they need to be together mm -hmm. okay yeah. So that's really awesome. Me, yeah, husbands need a lot of work to do while the pastor enjoys uh, everybody's attention. Try and also make divert attention to your <laughs> wife. <laughs> yes, yes, especially if the woman yeah. has not discovered yes. her personal core. That's right. Yeah, so, you yeah. know, maybe the woman is a new wife mm -hmm. and trying to understand ministry. Yes. But this is why a pastor needs to pray very yes. well yes. to marry yes. somebody who is mature. Oh, but at times, yeah. in this our modern age, pastors are not looking for matured no, women. No, they are looking no. for flashy. <laughs> God forgive me. <laughs> yes. And when you marry flashy, you oh. get flashy things. Oh, so, but if you marry such, mm. it don't give hope. Mm -hmm. Don't give up hope. Yeah. Take our time, as pastor said. Yes, yes. Let them understand understand yeah. what their yeah. assignment where where their boundary that's lies right. that's right you yes. know yes. and yes. also let the members know that 
this is me yeah. this is my wife we yeah. are one yeah. if you disrespect her yeah. you disrespect sure. me sure. and you as a pastor don't disrespect your wife mm. by indirectly mm. in any form mm. because yes. once you do that you yes. have given people license yes. to disrespect yes. your wife yes. So the pastor's wife job is amazing. So it we is. have looked at two mm -hmm. areas, mm -hmm. two areas yes. of difficulty, challenges. Yes. Yes. We looked at acceptance. Yes. Uh, yes. Pastors were struggling with acceptance. We also looked at, um, what's the last thing uh, we looked at? We looked at uh, issue of a uh, false accusation. Yes, yes, yes. we didn't really yes. de deal with yes. that. Yes. Yes. So like as a pastor's wife, you may have heard, you may have listened, or someone may have come to you, or even a person when the ministry started newly. What? areas do you think pastors wise usually face this false accusation hmm. um it could be something was said and hmm. they might think it came from the pastor's wife okay you know yeah so you have to be a woman of integrity mm. that's important yeah you have to stand yeah. your ground yes you have to woman stand your ground integrity. because we've had problems with that mm. where i know some people have just decided to feel free that ah, did you hear what happened no if that's a calling you've got, you need to keep things to yourself. Mm -hmm. So that's a false accusation because yeah. it's not it came. It's not that it came from you, yeah. but it could be somebody else also knew. Once somebody has a friend, mm -hmm. as long as someone has a friend, you know the friend has a friend, yeah. and it will go, you know. And then Absolutely. also sometimes the way you look, if you're not yeah. someone who smiles a lot, yeah. they will think you have something against them. Yeah, a yeah. False accusation. <laughs> yeah. So you have to always smile and be yeah. happy, even if you're not happy yeah. in that morning. Yeah. Smile and be happy, or it'll be a false accusation yeah, at all. Sure. Oh, see the way you looked at me. You didn't greet me today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. That is so true. That is so true. And uh, we have cancelled, uh, my husband particularly has cancelled a, a couple who a prophet came and said, Oh, your problem is your wife. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> have mercy. <laughs> And they were, this marriage was around, about, the man was about to kick, her, kick off that Because of the woman. prophecy. Yeah, so thank God they contacted Pastor George. Praise Pastor George said, please, please, Just please. Don't even go there. Don't yeah. even go there. Yeah. That yeah. prophet was not there when yeah. God gave you this That's woman. The thing. Go and pray. That's the thing. And when he prayed, God That's opened his eyes That's that this thing. was a life from the pit of hell. Can you imagine? So maybe you're a pastor's wife. It yeah. may have not, not now, it may have happened 10 years ago, but the pain mm. is still in your heart. Mm. You, you know, you need to have a clean hair heart a yeah. pure heart because yes. the bible yes. says who yeah. shall ascend the, yes. to, the the heel of the lord yes. you see whose heart yeah. is pure his yeah. hands are clean yeah. so yeah. no matter what has been labeled against yeah. you yeah. no matter the false accusation remember what our master jesus did yes when he was accused before mm. uh, the king mm. herod mm. and herod was ready to forgive him Honestly. jesus herod was pressurizing him yeah. why not defend yourself yeah, yeah. jesus did not say, say anything word. And he is it's our anything. mother. So no matter what happened, you don't need to respond. Yes. Just go to your father in heaven. God will fight yeah, for you. Yeah, God will, will fight, fight for you. Peace. You know, yeah. but you must have a clean heart <laughs> to enjoy the benefit of being a pastor's wife. Now within we have about three minutes uh, about three okay. minutes plus. I want us to talk about some of the benefits. Oh, because yes. it's amazing. Yes. I am so much loved. Yes. I'm yes. telling you, yes. every week, every day. Clothes I wear. In fact, this clothes I'm wearing. It's lovely. Oh my God! Thank you. <laughs> Many of them. One one member of the church. One they gave me a blank check. Wow. Somebody went and bought ten clothes for me. Amazing. If I said I want you to buy ten, and when they took me there, I took five. I said, please, <laughs> no. God. You know, yeah. flowers, yes, shoes, yes, bags. Yes, so yes, yes. it's it's enriching. Yes. Yeah, it they, is enriching. Definitely. Mm. I mean, I thank God for the church. the church. Such such an honoring church that we yeah. have. You know, thank they're you, so Jesus. loving. Yeah birthdays, mm. Mother's Day, yeah. or just any reason to be Ooh, a blessing. Blah, 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 Honestly, blah, 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 there's yeah. such, and as yeah. the Bible says, mm. when you give, you will receive good yeah. measure so, pressed down. Yeah. And I thank God, they, they're a giving church. Yeah. They love, you know, you know. Mm. if you're not materialistic, they yeah. can see it. Yes. You know, they yeah. just, even sometimes they're giving things, I'm yeah. like, they know, like, we know, this money we're giving you, you no. spend it on yourself. <laughs> exactly. Don't go and, because I know you got you know oh my it's God. so lovely it's such an honor it and is. you know as they're giving yeah. they're receiving their blessings Absolutely. as well maybe they're not aware but they are aware they're receiving their blessings mm. but it is such a benefit and the benefit of being mm. able to be in the presence of god yeah. receive from the lord yeah. and and be able to be a blessing to people mm. it, it's, it's just amazing 
amazing. Life. It's amazing. It is awesome. In fact, yeah. I would prefer and I would want yeah. to remain a pastor's wife. Yes, yes. You know? yes, yes. <laughs> I didn't know. I never ever had an idea that I was going to be a pastor's wife. As, as, yeah. uh, in fact, as a, a matter of fact, because of the way I was operating before yes. I got married, people yes. were uh, uh, encouraging me to they open did. a church. Wow. And uh, yes, <laughs> but because my background was Catholic before right. I got born again, really? and uh, yeah, I was Catholic. <laughs> so I never, I said, me being a, I can't open a church. <laughs> So, but when I entered, wow. became a pastor's wife, hmm. and uh, yes, at the initial time it wasn't yes. easy, but now Praise I'm telling God. you, Praise I can't God. be any other thing Amen. but to be because also yeah. it gives me opportunity to fulfill my own yes. calling, and I have a covering. That's right, over covering. me. That's that it. covering, is, covering important. is important. I love it, and also it gives me the opportunity to minister, to reach out to reach other out people. So many people. And uh, today mm. I'm not regretting it mm. because I have seen yeah. people that love me. Good News Bible Church members, yes. they yes. have been. Amazing, oh, definitely you amazing know. Church. So, if you're a pastor's yeah. wife and you're saying, When is it going to be? Just keep on being nice, yes. being a mother yes. to, to those who do not yes. have mothers, yes. be a mentor, yes, keep on praying for people, praying. keep on caring for people, mm. love, yes, forget. Remember, everybody under the church are all like children growing, That's right. That's so right. you are mentoring yeah. everybody. That's so, right. so we make mistakes like yeah. your own biological children, yes. don't let it drive you into, right. into bitterness. That's Very right. soon, you begin to see benefits, amen. yeah. So, amen. we're gonna, amen. I'm going to allow you to say the last thing you want to say and then next week okay. we'll see you again okay well it's been a pleasure being on the show thank you so much My it's pleasure. lovely to be a pastor's wife and if you're a young person you're thinking i'm not going to marry a pastor let me tell you something mm. it's a great honor to marry a pastor you can see any of us we we'll give you some tips yes but it's been an honor and i believe it's, it's a ministry that only god himself will, will will bless and anoint and that's what he's been doing he's been mm. blessing us anointing us and the people also will be impacted yeah. over your ministry in jesus name amen mm. well as pastor's wife i want to know and as pastor has said this is a, uh, is an honor speaking about this area uh be encouraged god who picked you up will not let you down Amen. you are a special person yes. you are chosen yes. by god yes. a royal gener a generation yes. for god yes. you're a mouth organ for god you are yes. looking after god's vessel yes. very important mm. god chooses his That's own right. people That's right. then he handed him over to you That's so right. be encouraged today until Amen. next week may the lord bless you may god put a smile on your face Amen. in jesus name Amen. 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 Bye. Bless it. your personality is your public image what people know you about. They know you as the one standing there in time. They know you as the one that can spread money. They know you as the one that can dress very well. They know you as the one that can encourage people. That is your personality.